Did you enjoy the concert, Carrie? Mm, I'm so glad you asked me. It's early yet. We still have time to treat ourselves to a little something. Maybe some ice cream. <gasps> you do know my sweet tooth, don't you? Howdy, folks. Table for two. Right this way, please. Remember when times were simpler? When the very best thing in the whole world was topping off an outing with your best girl by stopping at the village ice cream parlor and treating her to whatever her heart desired. The kind of place where the ice cream was piled high and served up in a gay, elegant atmosphere. What happened to those days? Well, for better or for worse, America grew up. And along with all the good things that came along, some good things got left behind to be replaced with plastic and steel and concrete and hurry up. By the 1960s, for instance, it got to be just about impossible to find a place where a fella could take his family to get something as simple as an ice cream sundae worthy of its name. But then came along a very good idea, whose time had come again. Farrell's Original Ice Cream Parlor Restaurants. Birthday singers, please! Birthday singers! Fat noise, drum roll, please! Attention, please. Over here we have Kelly. Kelly came in today with all her friends to celebrate her sixth birthday. Can we give her a great big hand, please? Yeah. On to be the big booming Farrell's drum, I'd like everybody here to join in and sing Kelly a happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Farrell's is famous for birthday parties. We have them for kids of all ages and groups of all sizes. And kids love them because the eating's good, the ice cream is piled high, and most of all, because the festivity and the excitement are just right. Farrell's people are a major reason why it's great to have a Farrell's nearby. Friendly, warm, enthusiastic people who really enjoy making customers happy. And the friendship, the warmth, the enthusiasm that comes through at Farrell's is no accident. We look for young people who show a real interest in people-to-people -people contact. Folks who are committed to public service and are actively involved in the community at large. Take any 10 Farrell's employees, and the odds are good that you'll find one active in scouting, another doing volunteer work, still another involved in the 4-H clubs, or two more who are cheerleaders. The point is, we look for and encourage people who like helping people. I'm not just a soda jerk. I'm a builder of fountain fantasies. And every time I see those smiling birthday faces, I really feel good. When you put a hot fudge netty netty sundae in front of a child and watch his eyes grow as big as saucers, that's fun. Something else Farrell's is, it's a full measure, just like in the good old days. It's hearty fare, prepared only as quickly as loving care and the strictest quality control will permit. A sandwich isn't just a sandwich at Farrell's. It's prepared perfectly and served up with pride. It even comes with a name that's as fun to say as the sandwich is to eat. Around the corner and down the aisle, here comes that sandwich that'll make you smile. So close your eyes and take a bite of the gastronomical delicatessen Epicurean's delight. <laughs> Bob Farrell was a kid himself once, and he's used all he could remember about the good old days to perfect his incredible array of food and fountain delights. From the simplest hamburger sandwich to elaborately prepared sundaes, sodas, shakes, and banana splits, all served up in a genuine gay 90s atmosphere that's far from what you would expect in this day and age. No plastic hurry-up shortcuts here, but real silverware, genuine Tiffany-style leaded glass lamps, even an old-fashioned candy store. You know, we've come a long way since that first Farrell's in 1963. Maybe it's because we've always believed that the customer and not profit is the purpose of our business. Sure, we have to make a profit to stay in business, but our real goal is satisfying the customer and at the same time making a contribution to the community. Our parlors now stretch across the country, clear to Hawaii, Everyone is fun and exciting, just like the original. Uh-oh, sounds like we're about to be interrupted. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? Right here from the frosty fingertips of Pharaoh's fantastic fountain is the largest sundae in 
all the world. Now, this Sunday has eight and a half pounds of ice cream, gobs and gobs of whipped cream, bananas, nuts, cherries. Why, you name it, it's got it, and it is called our Pharaoh Zoo. And it is so big that it takes two strong men to carry it. <laughs> Yes, Carrie? Do you suppose our grandchildren will have just as much fun as us? Oh, Carrie, I think life for them will be pretty much the same as it is for us. Good things never change. <laughs> <laughs>